What if I told you there was a dinosaur with claws almost the length of your arm? Well, today I'd like to introduce you to one of the oddest of dinosaurs and one of my personal favorites, Therizinosaurus. And before I even show you a picture of what this bizarre creature looked like, you have to admit that it already has an amazing name going for it. I mean, Therizinosaurus, super fun to say, sounds great, it looks cool, and it means scythe lizard, which is awesome. And given the really long and curved claws it has, is totally perfect. Anyway, without further ado, I present Therizinosaurus. <laughs> I chose this image because it clearly shows off many of this beast's key features. It is a bipedal, pot-bellied dinosaur with a long neck, small head, and arms, hands, and claws like almost no other. However, this image is probably missing something because a very closely related and smaller cousin to Therizinosaurus, called Bipiosaurus, was known to have had feathers, which means Therizinosaurus might have also, making this potentially a bit more accurate. And you'd probably guess that a 30 foot long animal with claws like that would have had to have been the top predator of its ancient Mongolian environment. And that's also a good assumption given that it's in the same large group of dinosaurs that includes all of the carnivorous ones. Although, fun fact, when its claws were first found, they were thought to be the ribs of a giant turtle. But no, for a number of reasons, including the shape of its teeth, we know Therizinosaurus was a plant eater and probably used those claws to hook and pull vegetation closer within reach. But obviously they would have also been super intimidating to predators. Oh, and one more thing. Based on the lifestyles of other unrelated animals, but with similar-ish body plans, one pair of researchers suggested that Therizinosaurus and its close relatives like Erlionsaurus that I'm about to show you a picture of, could have foraged while sitting down, which is just the best thing I've ever seen. And even though Therizinosaurus is an Asian dinosaur, it had a couple smaller relatives, Falcarius and Nothronychus, from North America. So if you'd like to see their skeletons up close in real life, you can do that at the Natural History Museum of Utah. Along with, of course, the rest of the absolutely fantastic Past Worlds Gallery. Who knows, you might even run into me.